Pisces, what's going on, baby? Treat me nice, please. It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Red Several. Honey, I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for Sep. September 2020 show me the money energies you got that right for my Pisces baby oh we swimming upstream we getting everything that we want honey oh we going all the way up okay nothing can stop me I'm on the way up listen thank you guys for clicking this video shout out to all my OG shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you who's clicked this video thank you for all of the like shares and subscribes for the bookings um um, the page donations, everything that you guys have been doing to send any type of love over my way throughout this season. Because y'all know we've been going through the COVID shutdown. Everybody been at home. So just thank you guys so much for all of the support that you all have been sending. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to get to some truth. We're going to get to some clarity. You know, we just, you know, we're going to get to the meat and potatoes, you know, because we like to keep it real thick around here, girl. Okay. Real thick. Okay. So listen, <coughs> you know, as I always do, I always give shout out to the creator. I always give him thanks for all of the abundance, all of the blessings, all of the glory that we have in our life. Um, before we get into any energy, and there's anyone who would like to book a personal or private reading, or if these re readings resonate and you just want to send some support and love, either through Cash App or PayPal, through a donation, or if you want to donate a, a deck or something from off the Amazon wish list, all of that information is in the description and in the About tab on my YouTube page. It has the pricing list for you. Um, um, I only do video readings, so I do my video readings on Instagram, Video Messenger. If you do not have Instagram um, so that we can connect through the Messenger for the video chat, I normally use Google Hangouts, which is a free app to download. The only thing that we need to exchange is our email, okay? My email is scorpionrez at gmail.com, which is also on the About tab. So all of my contact information is on the About tab. If you have any questions and you do not have Instagram, you can email me again at scorpionrez at gmail.com, okay? So again, thank you again for all of the like, share, subscribes, and bookings. Let's give the Lord some... Um, acknowledgement and give him some praise and thanks right now so father God we thank you so abundantly for bringing us here for the sign of Pisces father God um, right now outside it's raining like you know the, the ground is getting the nourishment that it needs right now you know it's been hot outside we've been outside cooking a little bit you know look it, it's just Labor Day everyone's been like you know being festive being with friends being with family being loved fellowshipping you know know networking just trying to enjoy ourselves you know like we are just very thankful just for this time that we just been able to sit back and relax like you know even though it might have been stressful in the beginning like right now we in peace we ain't worried about nothing we just thankful for all of the resources that you have blessed us with and just all of the blessings that you have ahead we we know without question that we're good you know even though we have our own little personal battles and stuff we make our way through it with our head up and with pride, Father God. So I just want to thank you for um, blessing Pisces and everyone who is surrounding Pisces. Anyone that's in this energy, Father God, continue to bless us to move forward with our head held up with pride and dignity and self-love, Father God. Um, give us the guidance and give us the glory because they don't know our story, Father God. And that's one thing. They don't know our story. You know our story. So give us the guidance that we need, Father God, so that we can succeed, you know. Thank you again for all of the blessings that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Amen. Amen. So listen, <clears throat> we got some new decks. New decks. So this is a game that um, we play in the house. This is called What Do You Mean? And I've been using them in the personals just to kind of get like a uh, emotion or something like that out of the situation. And this deck is funny as hell, y'all. I mean, and it is deadly accurate <laughs> it's accurate so listen we're gonna go ahead and let god be the glory because they don't know our story today i'm gonna go ahead and take these cards down like i've been doing and they said to go ahead and take that one right there and then we're gonna flip these over one at a time and we're just gonna get into the t-yee-yee -yee with me you understand 
So I hope everyone got your popcorn, got your glass of wine, or you got your little shot of honey or whatever it is that you need, baby. But we about to get all up into the with she. Okay, girl. Yes, ma'am. So listen. Let's see what we got here. Going on with the moon face in your life. I feel like this reading is going to be extremely interesting. Pisces always has an interesting <laughs> reading. So, let's take that right there. Alright. What's going on over here to the circle of life tarot for some confirmation? Shout out to A-Connection TV. Y'all know who Miss Mona Simone is. That's where if you ever hear me say something where it's like, like I said, Shione or something like that. That is that is West from A Connection TV, baby. That's where I got that lingo from. That is my boo, Mona. Simone, Simone, I'm back, bitch. Come test me. Y'all wanna hate? That's so ugly. Can't relate that shit. I bought. <laughs> I know it's a few of y'all know exactly who Weston at Connection TV and Mona Simone is back in the Bad Girl Club days. Y'all was just rocking with me just now. Yes. Shout out to West from A Connection TV. Yes. Come on, Mona. Come on, Simone. Shout out to all my girls out there in the streets with the name Mona Girl. Big Mona. Okay. I don't know what just made me go there, but I know that had to resonate with somebody, especially those lyrics. I'm back, bitch. Come test me. Y'all want to hate? That's so ugly. I can't relate. <laughs> I got not remember all the words. Oh, my God. Hold on. What did he say? Uh, oh, I can't remember all of the words, y'all. But he was going on that shit. Mona Simone was a sassy little bitch. Okay. Real quick to snatch a bitch. Last little dessert. <clears throat> Show some respect. Find out what ancient door is about to walk through right now. All right, Pisces, let's get into. All right, so. Let's start off with the what do you mean card. We go, oh, Lord. Can you say rejected? Reject? Uh-uh. Like, uh-uh. No, ma'am. I don't. Uh-uh. You, you, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing because, you know, like when it's something that you really don't want, and you just like, uh, you know, that kind of. <laughs> you rejecting like this Pisces it's like girl like I, I I don't even want you no more like that's what I'm getting it's like who is this you at home Okay. No, just go home. Okay. Okay, bye. Why are we talking to you? I'm talking to Nafisi. I'm gonna have to cut this out of my reading. Bye. Okay. Bye. Love you, bye. I'm probably not like shit, so y'all just going <laughs> Y'all probably just gonna have to deal, bitch. Cause I'm probably not like shit. The thought of editing be having me like, eh, 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 eh. exactly like however you feeling about whatever the situation with this person is. So I, it's just like whatever it is that was like being positioned or the table. I don't know if this is something that you were fighting for that you were very interested in at one point. It's just like you're not even interested anymore. And the thought of it is just like repulsive to you. What is this? The lovers. You guys might have a new soul connection. Like I said, whatever, whatever and whoever it is. Whenever, whenever, wherever, baby, bitch, no, okay? No, I 
wanted to go into the Spanish version, but I don't even know how to say it in Spanish. But it, it was like, to me, I felt like at one point in time, this could have been a situation where you guys were lovers. It was one beating heart and things like that. But I really do feel like the Pisces is rejecting anything that was from the past or any like it could even be any type of new suitors and stuff like that. I feel like Pisces is in love with someone like very, very strongly. Like it's one beating heart, it's one mind, it's one soul, it's one purpose. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this person's soul partner. They have a soul contract that they're con that they're conquering and they're enjoying right now. And I don't I don't think that Pisces has the eyes for anyone else or anyone else that might be trying to approach them right now, especially if it's anything in the past, baby. Listen, maybe in the past it was it was whenever, wherever, whatever. But it ain't like that no more. Like they are like completely rejecting the thought of anything other than the eyes of this lover. Like th this is all that they see. You know like when you're really in love you don't see nobody else. I don't even care if the person has more money than the person that you're dating, drives a better car, um, looks, they can even look better, be way more attractive. But if that person don't got your heart like this, it ain't nothing that that person can do for you. Like they are like, please leave me the fuck alone. Do you hear what I'm saying? This is the hermit in the reverse here. So it's like Pisces have came out of like feeling like they needed to seclude their self, feeling like they needed to find their self, feeling like they needed to go through a soul journey. So it's like you came out of a situation where you had to find yourself and you had to love yourself. You understand? And now that you're on a vibration where you're completely feeling like I don't want to be alone. You know, I'm a lot wiser. I've learned a lot from my past mistakes. I'm ready for love. And you came out with that vibration. And it looks like you attracted exactly what it was that you were on that frequency on anything else. It looks like you've learned from it. And I just, I feel like you moved on. It, it looks like you've moved on. Um, it looks like you've coming out of a part of where you were going through a separation, maybe trying to fix something. You've decided, let me stop trying to fix that and let me go within and fix myself. You fixed yourself. You got to a point in your life where you're like, I'm tired of just being alone right now. I don't even think that you came out in a search for love because you knew that love was going to find you. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what's going on under here. You got the hangman. So the hangman is someone, again, that's in seclusion. I don't know if a lot of people are seeing that you were in seclusion or seeing that you were trying to not be indifferent in a situation that you took yourself away. You took yourself back like you went in hiding. You removed yourself from an affair you went I feel like you went hiding from your lovers or something like that why are they telling me that you went hiding from your lovers or something I want to say like you were mixed up in like a love affair you see like how was a woman with two different men right here I feel like that's why this hermit is in the reverse like you had to see something from a different angle and if it, and if God didn't seclude you and if God didn't seclude you so that you could see actually what it was looking like from a different vantage point, I don't think that you would have ever got the knowledge and the wisdom that you should have got out of this. Because you might have been hung up on a situation, Pisces. You might have been in a situation where you were. Um, it might have been two different people feeding off of one heart. You know what I'm saying? One, two, two people chasing one heart. But this is the lovers and the upright. Um, <clears throat> I do read reversals. It didn't come out in reversals, but if I'm getting that energy depicting on what's coming out here, I would definitely tell you because you don't have to have the cards come out in reversals for you to understand what's going on. But, um, I really do feel like this was someone that was hung up on two different people. Look, one foot in the door, one foot out the door. You see how one of the slippers done fell off? You know, like, it's like one of the people knocked their socks off and the other one was just into like they were just entertaining or something like that yeah because it was like it was like one person 
they were constantly pleasing you, doing anything to please you, and, and you were too busy being hung up on something that just wanted to stick their dick in your mouth and just wanted you to please them. You understand what I'm saying? So I felt like you were in a situation where you were hung up, where you weren't paying attention to the one that was pleasing you, and you were giving all of your energy to the one that wanted you to do everything for them. And that's why I feel like you had to go in that hermit mode because you might have been going through a situation where you did have two different lovers. If this is a, a Pisces female, um, to this is a woman with two different, uh, uh, <coughs> a woman with two different men. So what is this right here? This is adjudication in the reverse. So this is like an unsuccessful victory, like you not getting. Uh, the reward, the favor, the benefit, the recognition, like um, whatever you were talking about didn't stand up in court. Whoever it is that is judging you in this situation or judging whoever this woman is in this situation may not, uh, like justice might not have been on this person's side. You know what I'm saying? I feel like now, like, with the hangman in the reverse, I feel like I don't know if something came out in court, something was exposed in court to kind of show you like really what was going on. And the judge is like, yeah, well, did you know that she was doing all of this? Yeah, this is really what was causing the stagnation and the delay. And this is why this person wasn't coming down or coming home or coming. To, you know what I'm saying? And the person was like, oh, oh no, <laughs> like, <clears throat> like, no, I ain't realized Slim was doing all like that. Like, you know. I thought this was my soulmate and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't realize baby girl was rolling like that. Like, nah, baby was rolling pretty hard. And based off of the evidence that I'm seeing here in the court, I am not going to grant her, um, you know, a uh, judgment for the defendant, not the plaintiff. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Oh, something about an old wives' tale. So now, okay, let, okay, let me just keep going. The third eye raving. That's why I'm saying someone was watching. Like I'm trying to tell you, it was like. I, what I'm trying to tell you, I don't know if this is a court situation between lovers and it's like this person is not. This person had to go within to really figure out what it was that they wanted to do. And now it's like they're coming out of hiding like this person might have went in hiding um, from their lovers or something like that. I don't know why I'm feeling like something is ever being exposed in court or this person had to make a judgment on something and it's like they're walking away with pride, self-dignity and self-love. You know what I'm saying? They may be walking away from us because now I, I am kind of in with the third eye raven. The third eye raven is like the all seeing eye, like, you know, like a secret messenger coming to give you secret information the unknown the unseen you know like secrets and things it says as the sunrise hits upon the dew a messenger raven claws out the news prepare for the unexpected i don't know if this is like some evidence some information it's like someone had to see this had to see this, had to see this in order for them to be repulsed. You know, like how sometimes people, they have to see someone being caught in the act of something. I don't know if this was a picture or something, but it's, it's, it's something that this person seen or that was being exposed or that was being depicted in court or some information that was coming from a third party about someone and someone was hung up on and it's like you too busy giving to this person this person giving to someone else like look this is i don't want to give you this information but look here it is you know what i'm saying let's find out what's going on with the moon phase right here change listen shocking change y'all it's like a storm approaching it's a storm approaching. 
and somebody is being pushed out of the way like I'm getting the yes the thunder moon I'm getting the thunder moon I was just about to say the thunder moon I didn't even realize that this card said the thunder moon the thunder moon is like the last time I experienced the thunder moon it did thunder like shit it is a uh, um it's a new moon so it's not a full moon it's a new moon phase from what I understand and it's just like the sky is completely dark. You can't see anything, but it's thundering like shit. The last thunder moon, it was thundering like shit in Washington, D.C. And I don't know why, like, thunder is, like, very calming and soothing to me sometimes. Just listening to the, just listening to nature, just taking its course. You know what I'm saying? So, it's something about, like, nature just had to take its course. Um... I want to say someone ran from these lovers and they were sitting back looking at something so that they can make a choice or something and they don't forgive them because it's like, I know what you was doing last summer. Okay. All right. I know what you was doing last summer, bitch. You was out here. Listen, you was out here doing all this. Okay. Out here being weak and pussy. I'll oh, try to keep a nigga baby. Didn't you, bitch? You understand what I'm saying? Listen. Someone so told me, sweetness. Listen. Ooh, Lord. Let me find out what's going on here. You got the world card. So this is definitely a card of movement. A card of, listen, big change and transformation, closing chapters, and moving on with lessons learned. Like I said, this. You know, the hermit in the reverse, that's someone that already went in and had like a, a very, very deep talk with their self about what they want in life, their purposes, the next steps that they want to make. It's like, you know, like I had to really search deep within, had to face their shadow, had to understand their light, had to bury old grievances. Had to be inspired by new inspirations. Like this person had to go through all of this before they even stepped outdoors. Do you understand what I'm saying? There could have been a situation with someone that they considered their lover, their soulmate. You know what I'm saying? Where in this seclusion they seen things for what it was. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not a secret anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm not in denial. Like this could have been forced change. Something that you would, you, you, you were forced to see you know what I'm saying like if you weren't forced to see this like you wouldn't have got to the point where you were like completely like repulsed by it and rejecting it like that but this was a force of change this was a force of nature this was you know a time for you to travel and move on to a new destination so you may be like literally moving or you know what I'm saying constantly traveling or just literally in your spiritual capacity just moving ahead right now as much as you can you understand what is this the coffin again like i said death rebirth you understand like putting something to rest so that you can you know wake up a new experience a new day you know like serious like something has ended is over this was forced change like it was like god had to force you to see this in order for you to move you know what i'm saying there had to be the thunder there had to be the lightning lightning and the thunder boom 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 lightning and the thunder thunder y'all know that's my song y'all listen to the listen listen to the words of that damn song y'all i'm so serious force change make you end something towards you wouldn't you is no way that you could forgive this person for this type of trespass and betrayal it's like you know something like you were sleeping with this person like, so you were dealing with me, but you were dealing with this person, too. It's like, what the, you know what I'm saying? And what is this? The temperance. So, again, this is someone that is trying to find balance in their life. Still trying to find the day-to-day -day pleasures and joy and do the things that they want to do but by, by still being responsible. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you, you see how this is being depicted. Like, this girl is still handling her job, but she's still getting her job handled. Do you understand what I'm saying? And she's able to keep a poker face all at the same time. You understand? So, that is like an amazing uh, depiction of temperance. That is funny as hell. But it's like having faith. Having balance. Having the freedom to just, like, 
have all your hopes, dreams, and inspirations like come true in front of your face because you believe it so much. You know what I'm saying? Like having a little bit of that spiritual world into your physical world, a little bit of the physical world into your spiritual world, just having that complete balance, that essence, that knowing within yourself, like I could be able to do and have both at the same time and just be in complete balance with this shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like you may be balancing still having to go through the day to day of this death, but at the same time, receiving being open to receiving pleasure you know what i'm saying at the same time while you're having to go through what you're going through and like i don't know who this is like but someone has been like really been getting a lot of fellatio because i'm like listen listen she getting ahead here listen like, I don't know if this is the same person that's constantly trying to service her. Or if there's a lot of people that just want to service this woman. But did this woman, I don't know, she must got some tasty cakes or something, girl. Because, like, all these people just listen. Listen, they said cake, 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 cake. And it's not even her birthday, honey. Listen. There's always going to be someone that's going to eat the cake anime. So, I don't <laughs> Let me just keep it going. What is this? This is the Nine of Wands in the reverse. So the nine of wands in the reverse is like someone just being fatigued, someone being tired. Um, it's like not even feeling like I got to defend myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to sit here and even defend myself or um, it may seem like I'm weak. It may seem like you could try to push me over. I'm just fucking tired and frustrated. And I just don't even feel like even having the energy to fuck with you right now. I'm not going to let you beat up on me, though. You understand what I'm saying? But it's just certain shit I just, I'm just, I prefer just not to give my energy to. You know what I'm saying? And if you over there giving your energy to somebody else or you fixated or you don't got your trust in me or whatever the fuck it is. And I had to find out what's going on with you like that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't. Now I'm getting someone trying to bring up some past shit for the reason why they did what the fuck they did. And, 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 and the Pisces is like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't even, like, don't even bring that shit up to, because I'm not even going to try to defend myself for some shit that happened years ago. Bitch, you was wrong. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not about to be sitting up here arguing with you about no fuck shit. Like, you did what you did. You did what you did. You understand what I'm saying? Look, only thing I can do is go on about my business and move on. I got too much pride. You understand? I don't forgive you for this shit, Slip. Like, girl, like, this shit's over. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm good. You don't understand? Like, believe it or not, I'm good. I don't know why I'm feeling like this is a man that's dealing with some woman here. And it could be vice versa, whoever's in this energy, but it's just like, I'm good. Because regardless of what, I'm not less of me receiving service from anybody. I'm still handling my shit. I'm good. So, listen, you go do you and I'm going to do me, babe. Like, I'm not even about to sit here and be having it the fuck up with you. Like, the sun is in the perverse. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, I might not have been able to truly see you for what you really were. You know what I'm saying? Like... And, like, the fun is over. Like, the games and, like, I, I, don't, I don't have time for this shit. What is this? And this is the hangman. Is this the... It's the hangman again. This is the hangman in the upright. So, this is the hangman, like, being unrooted from this situation. It's like, I, I seen what I needed to see. I learned my lesson. I've had my my growth, you know what I'm saying, through this experience. Like, I feel like you wouldn't have grown any other way unless you were by yourself able to process that on your own. Because I feel like even when the person brings up the shit from the past, you would have tried to argue and defend yourself. You ain't even feeling, I don't even want to defend myself. Like, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's many soulmates that come along in your life that are merely coming around to teach you lessons. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, I love you, but I'm not about to sit here and share your heart with nobody else. Bottom line, like, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? I understand, I understand now the purpose, your purpose in my life. But it's like the hangman. I, I seen what I needed to see. For me to get out of this state of illusion, you see the moon is in the back. 
All right? All right. Because the tower about to come up and listen. I, I, I think the hangman comes before the tower because it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so you can completely avoid this shit. You, you see what I'm saying? And it's like, mm-mm. I have to remember. I have to remember. But anyway, we we are not getting into that. We're not getting into that. Let's let, let's just keep it moving. So I was about to go here first. So let's do this. This is the four swords. So the four swords again. This is someone removing themselves from a situation. They're secluding themselves. They're thinking what's best for them and not about nobody else. So you could be like extremely selfish right now. You could be blocking yourself from people um i feel like this is block communication and someone just like being very firm on what they believe right now i don't you know i, I feel like this is more of someone standing their ground than the like the nine of the nine of wands is someone physically standing their ground like actually willing to fight you yeah like i'm not about to sit there and fight you like i don't even want you touching me slam i'm completely over it i done got down off of this shit slam like for real you understand me you get me my best way to fight with you is by mentally not fucking with you not giving you my energy you can't call me bitch like i done cut all the spiritual cords all of that shit bitch i am done Finito, nothing, nada, Nathaniel Nansford, bitch, you get to nothing, nothing, nut, fucking thing. Like, I know better. I love myself better. You understand? The pussy stay way wetter when I value myself better. I promise you that I won't, and I promise you that I don't. Look, you can't make me love you if I don't. Listen. You can't change my heart. You're trying too hard. You can't make me love you. No, I won't. Listen, this person does not forgive this person for what they seen or the secret that came out. And I feel like they really did love this person. They really, really did love this person, but they've already been through what they needed to go through on their soul level. They know their self enough to know what they're going to tolerate and what they're not going to tolerate. This person is still open to courtship. I feel like they're blocked off to whoever this person is that they're rejecting that they don't want nothing to do with it anymore. But they're still receiving. I told you, they're still receiving. Pisces is still receiving. So don't think that Pisces isn't still receiving. They're just not receiving anything from you. They just don't want anything to do with you. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm sorry. Like you would thought. Like I'm sorry. Listen. And then it says silent skill. Get the fuck out of here. Really? Like Pisces done blocked the whole shit out of somebody in his dating in court and someone else. Do you understand? These are two fours, baby. That's the four hearts and the four goddamn swords. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that they are still out there trying to emotionally be by This is balance. Dude, this is the temperance. You understand? Still doing my day to day. You listen. I don't know if you got kids with this person in some type of way. You got to handle some type of business or something. There's some type of obligation here. But underneath it. You getting yours. Do you understand what I'm saying? Listen. I'm handling my obligation by not fucking with you. For real, for real. But just because I ain't fucking with you don't mean I ain't fucking with somebody else. You got me fucked up. I'm demonstrating and I'm showing. Listen. Silent skills. What is this? <laughs> Look, you see this? Like, all of this orange. Like, I swear. I, I don't know if this person ain't going to speak to you too. Like, I feel like this silent treatment going to go on to like mid-November on God. It says, I challenge you to unpack your mind in meditation's grace. The soul can unwind. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. And that's, I mean, and that's still just like even like someone with this four swords, even with the hermit. Listen, the four of swords, the hermit card, and both of these hangman cards, these are all cards of someone being to their self, meditating, being quiet to think about some shit. To, to, number one, the, the hangman is so that people can be, listen, pulled away from the illusion. You see the moon in the back? 
Because some people might have been rooted in some fucked up shit. You understand? I mean, deeply rooted in some shit. Being pulled away from the illusion so you can see things right side up instead of upside down. So this one was for you to see. This one was for you to think and process. You understand what I'm saying? To cut your way out of a, a situation and to think and process. This one was for you to go through your soul journey. And to come out refreshed and renewed. So. This is, this is, and then, okay. And then you got the fucking lovers. Courtship and the lovers. And then you got the Ace of Pentacles. So listen, you guys most definitely are not dealing with someone. It's like you don't forgive someone for whatever they did, whatever it is that you seen, whatever secret came out, whatever you saw. There's some secret. But the biggest secret is, is that you already fucking with somebody else. Like you are like damn smitten with somebody else. You're courting this person. Listen, you don't cut. Pisces, treat me nice, please. Look, Pisces just knows. Listen, I'm swimming upstream. Like whatever, the, whatever it was in the past, I really do feel like you don't. And it's like whoever this person was, it's like please don't flatter yourself. Like, you might be very vague, especially if you don't have to talk to them. If this is someone that you do not have to talk to, you don't have to listen. You better lay low because Pisces don't forgive you for all of this foolishness. Pisces very much so knows. They were hung up on you and you were hung up on other people. You understand what I'm saying? And they don't forgive you. There might be someone trying to help mediate Especially if y'all co-parenting because Pisces ain't fucking with you now. And someone that told you your secrets. Like whoever it was thought that they was being slick. Like they was trying to do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that. And fuck with Pisces and play with their mind and do this and do that. Like nah bitch. You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 no. I'm done. And at the end of the day, I already got something going on on my own. So it don't even matter. Look, the world moves on. Period. Period. So listen, Pisces, treat me nice, please. Listen, you ain't come to play, baby. You came to slay. You said, bitch, deuces. So listen, I don't even want, listen, I don't even know what the fuck I was tripping on, bitch. You ain't, have you ever realized how unattractive someone gets after the lesson is learned? Listen, because that's what this is, after the lesson was learned, and you just like, I don't even know what the hell I even seen in you anymore. So, like, this was forced change. But it's forced change for the better because you got something. Listen, this man is playing in this woman's pubic hair. He's like, bitch, don't even shave. I like the way that, listen, okay? I like it. Just just let it grow, okay? Let it grow, let it grow, bitch. Okay, anyway, let me get the fuck about it. Y'all love y'all. I'm about to hit this resonated. Hit the like button. If y'all want to book a personal private reading, hit me up on Instagram or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Deuces. <laughs>